on Monday night. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. south in the state of California and we're underway between the Niners and Chargers. Takes it at the 7. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. San Francisco reading for their first drive of the game on offense. And in his ninth season in the league, six with the 49ers, it's Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Garoppolo and Ayuk, first down 49ers. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, able to avoid him. They find some open field here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Well, Christian McCaffrey is as tough to bring down as they come at the running back position, and he proved it right there. And as a defender, I can tell you with certainty, 
Those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Garoppolo now. Pass incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. So Garoppolo off, coming on as the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. The kick by Gold is good, and the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. splitting the uprights to kick this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger offense makes its way out for the first time in this ball game and leading the way, already a star in just his third season, it's Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air but he's even more impressive when their body's on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Herbert. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Niners will go on offense 
First and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. Five yards that time. Taking it himself, and he has enough for the first. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. <laughs> Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 53 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. DeAndre Carter back deep. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. the six-year man, Austin Eckler. He'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Second and eight. Back to throw here. Hurt. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third down and three. And in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do to do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. That play might not seem like much yardage-wise, but when you're looking at maybe having to go three and out put the football again, it becomes an important conversion. Now the question, can they keep it going from here? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
out of the gun. Herbert got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Steps away. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended receiver there was Donald Parham. And it's third and short. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. And this is caught, but I don't think he's staying back. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they get set to start their drive with a first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. So the completion gets them just a yard, and it's second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And some room to work. 65 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. So first and 10 now from the 30. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Off the edge and right to the ball that time was Kyle Van Noy. to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. McCaffrey running up the middle. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down and about nine to go. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And he's got it inside the 10. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big third down play there for the Niners. 61 yards. I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw.
They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line, down at the two. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. Garoppolo now on third and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, Defense is audible as well, and a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. So Garoppolo off, coming on as the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This a 27-yard attempt here. The kick by Gold is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Chargers offense back onto the field. They are still in search of their first points of the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. He'll buy some time right. He finds his target, Allen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now it's Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Throwing again on second and 10. Herbert, and that's into the hands of Eckler. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. 
to the sideline. He's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Over the middle complete. It's Williams. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. Looking to throw again on second down. Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. Way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Look that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape with a first and goal. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. To the air again, Herbert. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! Austin Eckler, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. So that drive goes eight plays. And Austin Eckler capped it off with the touchdown reception. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. But it'll be second down. Second down 
throwing now is Garoppolo. Open man is Juwan Jennings. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, his receiver hit and hit hard. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And this is caught, Jennings. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Garoppolo now, first down throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up for And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Garoppolo. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now a draw play to McKeffrey. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with ten seconds to go before halftime. The run on third and long, so I guess waving the white flag a little bit. Yeah, and I think sometimes teams are so committed to running the football that they'll take a chance, even in a long yardage situation, to let them know on the other side this is what we're going to be about today. In this case, they didn't get a first down, but if you're thinking along with them, hey, they might be committed to running it all game long. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away from the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, 
whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First though, let's run through the next gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter from the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes the Chargers on offense now to start this third quarter. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. will give this one to Eckler. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And his throw is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Herbert now. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. 
And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he got blown up on that play back at the 20. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. His throw incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. For the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And some room to roam now. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 at a first down. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one as he just did there. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. It's Eckler again. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Second down and eight. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. It's Williams on the catch. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 35. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. 
One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now Herbert with it, look at us. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. Eckler now between the tackles. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit into football. Herbert jogs off, and out comes Dustin Hopkins to take this kick for L.A. on fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and the lead grows to four. It's 13-9. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it, and they do so right there. Field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. This is taken just shy of the 10. Get him down inside the 30 up to 27. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. The last series for a little disappointing. Forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and 10. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Got a man, that's Ayu. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. the god McCaffrey 
And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 83 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and tilt, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And right side, they're going to go option here. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yards. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Now we'll pause here for an injury. And it's Debo Samuel. He's the man in question right now who will need some attention. The metal staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and seven to throw. It's Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, <laughs> bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. They started on the ground with Eckler. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 40 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Once more, here's Eckler. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 39, Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Here's Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Anytime a ball thrown in the middle of the field is popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. A 44 yard punt they're going to wind up losing yardage on the return though and the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory As san francisco's offense returns to the field their defense accomplished step one of the mission they forced the punt now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Eight yards to go on second down. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. Garoppolo now. That's caught. He finds Danny Gray. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. That's how you get right up on for the man, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Garoppolo. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with this four-point fourth quarter lead. Second down at six now from the 42. To throw is Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but that clock rolling. Garoppolo the throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains and take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. He'll look to throw. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And remember, field goal does him no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw, Garoppolo. They're able to haul it in as Kittle. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Garoppolo. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Nice job defensively to hold him to four. And now it's second and goal. to throw is Garoppolo. And this is caught. Touchdown! And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win and celebrate just yet. 
they've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fields this way out to Eve. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throwing, Herbert, finding Allen. Taken down after a gain of eight, and defensively, they'll say, you can have that. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Second two. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag in the backfield. This might be a roughing call. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Herbert. Incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. He was looking for Mike Williams that time, but it's going to be second down. One last throw here for Herbert. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though.